So now what I'm going to do is ask you to write some utility methods here. Here will be the first one. And we want to know if this particular node has been visited or not. So I need you to figure out what should go there. Then I need you to figure out. So this one will return whether it was visited or not. This one sets the visited to true. And uh, let's do a couple more. Okay, so these are three utilities I'd like you to write for me right now. This one returns true if this node has been visited. This one turns the node and marks it so that it has been visited. And this one returns true if all the nodes have been visited and returns false if there are still any unvisited nodes left. Mr. Nikita, sir, how can I tell if the current node has been visited? Okay, that was nice and easy. How do I mark this node as having been visited, Mr. Scholson? Okay, like that. Okay, did a great job there. So these are gonna come in handy later for us when we're working on our Dijkstra. So the next one we're going to do, and now we're heading, getting a little closer to Dijkstra. We're gonna say public list integer int node. So you give me a node, I give you a list of all the neighbors of, of this node, all the ones that have edges that have some other value besides negative one. So uh, I think that that's basically it for get neighbors. And now uh, I'm gonna ask you to write one more for me. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, let's just, I, I don't know if we're gonna use this or not, but let's let's put it in anyway. Uh, we should have a has edge method here. Okay, I, I think that the has edge method should be very similar to uh, what we had in the other case, where basically you just got to make sure it's not a negative one or a negative or, or a max integer or max value. Okay, we're just going to do uh, a couple more and then we'll call it a day. Uh, the next one I want to do, so I, I've done get neighbors. Now I want to get a, get the unvisited neighbors. So let's write the get unvisited neighbors method. What if everything has been visited? What will we return? Will we return a null? I don't think so. What will we return if all the neighbors have been visited? Who can tell me? Mr. Mariak, what will we return, sir? We'll return an empty list. Yeah. That makes sense, right? Okay, so try and figure out how to weed out the visited ones from this entire neighbor list here. I want to take this opportunity to remind you that when we go through an array list and we remove stuff, there's an additional danger that I discussed for a month in CSA, that when you delete stuff from an array list, you have to take some special precautions. What are the two things we can do to avoid problems of skipping over? We can either adjust the, we can either adjust the index we can parse backwards. And this would be a good time to use one of those techniques because we're going to be deleting stuff from an array list. Okay. And what should we go through? What is the terminating condition for the loop? Very good, sir. And then what do we do here? Okay. So we've got our get unvisited neighbors. 